Anybody who's on a regular granular program, you've never heard of our products before, this video is going to be for you. So for those of you guys who don't know, the next line carries a variety of products for your lawn that address both fertility and specialty needs. The one I feel we don't address all that often, given that we do have a liquid program of our own, is the specialty side. Before I get into that, I must define what is specialty and what is fertility. Fertility is what feeds the grass, is what keeps it looking double dark green and thick in conjunction with proper cultural practices. Specialty products, on the other hand, that's gonna kinda help us accomplish that a little bit more efficiently. One thing I feel isn't touched on enough with the specialty products is the fact that you don't have to commit to the line when you want to use the specialty products. So, let me give you a couple of examples. So, a fertility product would be one that contains NPK, like 1801, 901, 2600, 700, 002, 402. Those are our fertility products. That's what's going to accomplish that need. The specialty products, on the other hand, are going to complement our fertilizers and help us get there a little more efficiently. This is going to be your RGS, your Aerate, your Humic 12, your Dethatch. Those types of products right there, the ones that don't have green in the name, those are specialty products. The beautiful thing about the specialty products is because they are not fertility products, they can be used to complement any program, granular or liquid. And this is a question I get all the time. Jake, I'm not much of a liquid guy. How's this going to work for me? Well, I'm here to tell you guys right now, if you're looking for a basic cookie cutter plan when it comes to using the next products in terms of specialties, let me go ahead and walk you through it. So there are three products I recommend you grab. This will work for any program. I recommend you grab your Aerate, your RGS, and your Dethax. This is really all you need. Now, you can grab the Humic 12 if you want to, but if you're getting started, those three is where you're going to want to start. So in lawn care, depending on where you live, whether you're a DIYer or a pro, the amount of steps you have in a year is going to differ. This cookie cutter program can be utilized no matter where you live. So check this out thing you're going to do in the springtime. Let's say you're doing your basic six step. You're doing two applications in the spring, two in the summer, and two in the fall. That's a cookie cutter program that'll work no matter where you live. Now you can add and take away depending on where you are, but that's a cookie cutter that'll work for everybody. The first application, I like to come in with air rate, right? It's a great idea because we're coming into the season and our main objective is to make room for root growth. Now, if you wanted to, you could throw the RGS on top of that, but if you're looking to stay on a budget and be as minimalistic as possible, just come in with the air rate and that'll make way for the root growth that we're about to push. We'll go down in conjunction with round one, which for a lot of us is going to be our pre-emergent applications. Application rate for the air rate is going to be three ounces per thousand square feet. Six weeks later, you come in at round two. What are we going to line control? Second fertilizer applications. This is a great time to come in with the RGS product. Also at three ounces per thousand. We've made way for the roots. Now it's time to start stimulating them down deep into that soil. Switch overall is going to help increase overall nutrient availability to the plant. And then once we get to summer, this is about another six weeks after that, let's say early to mid-June, you're coming in, you're doing your preventative grub control, you can come in with the dethatch product. Assuming we're in the summertime now, temperatures are above 80, 85 degrees, great time to spray out dethatch. That's going to help in dissipating any of the thatch that we have up top so that that can be put down back into the ground and utilized as a food source to further drive the growth and vigor of our turf in conjunction with our well balanced fertilizer. And I think that really is something that needs to be mentioned with all of these, by the way. Products work their best in a well balanced fertility program, no matter what it is. Now, before we get to step four, I would like to go ahead and make you guys aware of a resource. And that is, when in doubt, print that PDF out. Go to greencountyfert.com forward slash DIY for all of your DIY product needs. Anything you need to know with regards to the products, labels, spec sheets, application rates, different situations and uses, all of that is there. When in doubt, print that PDF out, greencountyfert.com. Step four, you're gonna come in around another four to six weeks later with another application of dethatch. I think you guys might know where I'm going with this. It's gonna break down even more of that stuff that might have come from summer mowing, depending on whether the mowing guy you have, if you even have a mowing guy, has left some clippings on top. You're gonna to break that down, put that back down even more, bring the heat of the summer so that that can be utilized to further feed and drive the plant. Again, in conjunction with a balanced fertility program. Application rate for the dethatch is going to be anywhere from six to nine ounces per thousand. If you're looking for the most out of it in the summertime, 
depending on how crazy you want to get with it, I must say that nine ounce per thousand rate is pretty nice in the summertime. You can accomplish quite a bit with that six ounce per thousand rate as well. Step five is going to be another four to five or six weeks later, depending on where you're at. This is probably going to be early to mid September for a lot of you. And that is going to be your RGS product again at three ounces per thousand in conjunction with whatever your fertilizer application is at that time. It's going to help further stimulate those roots or down. That is our goal, right? A lot of people focus on just the grass. Our mission is to also focus on the roots because when the grass has deeper roots and an efficient soil structure, it's not going to take as much to get it going the following year and beyond. So in the end, you're saving yourself time and money all the while having a beautiful lawn for a lot less. And then to wrap it up at the end of the year, this is what kind of ties it all together. Another application of the air rate product, right? At this point, we are going to bed for the winter. It's a great idea to make room for those roots to continue burying down deep as the plant stores nutrients and gets ready for that next year. So that in a nutshell, guys, basic specialty regimen that you can throw in with your program, whether you're doing all Liquid Next products or maybe you're running a third-party granular program, you throw these in in conjunction with whatever it is you are running, I promise you guys, it's a DIYer. If you're on a liquid program, you're looking for something to tank mix in, or you have a third-party granular you use that works pretty well, go ahead and throw this in there. It's going to up the functionality of that fertilizer by a lot.